Okay. So now we're going to go grab that uh, that hammer that I mentioned earlier. You want to pick it up now and use it during this part because it's more effective this way. Because the enemies in the tunnel will just keep swarming you and it, it becomes very annoying. Um, yeah, let's pick up this hammer here. And uh, I'm going to pick up the mag 5 as well if that's okay. Because you'll be pushing. Yeah. Find a grenade. All right, good. Okay. okay. Now in this area, there's going to be enemies spawning on both sides of you. There's going to be on the other side of the gate at the very end of the tunnel, and they're going to spawn on the other tunnel where you come from at the entrance point. Of the two waves that spawn at this first entrance point, there'll be a group of normal guards and a choker, and then there'll be two armored guys and two armored chokers. You want to use your hammer on both groups while trying to maintain the group, the armored shotgunners that are going to be coming towards you on the other side. It becomes very difficult and very hard to manage, but you can do it. You know, if you you can do it. It's, it's all doable. There's no problem. If you want to use the hammer, you know, pick up the hammer after it. They drop it, whatever. Uh, okay. Oh, I didn't revive you. Okay. Okay. Let's push it a little bit more. I got you, don't worry. I got you. Did you not push it? Okay. Wait for all four of them to spawn, and just put them all away really quickly. And you want to get rid of this Pac-80 guy on top of the train here. He's very annoying. I saw a choker there. Oh, there he is. Okay, let's see. Just uh, swarm these enemies because they're just going to be waiting for you to kill them, basically. There's not really any way to go about them. Okay, you know, there is a trick you can use with the Pekati. Um, the Pekati that the guy. You can get it through the gate um, to be used, which is really cool. If you flip and you walk up to the area here, kind of aim and look up, switch your pistol, it'll fall through this little opening and use it in the next area. Let's see if I can get it through. There we go. And walk through the wall there. That's really cool. Okay, um, you, you, Ali, you can pick up the hand here. Uh, there's a hand inside this train. Um, yeah, useful, no doubt. Okay. And there's also a Mag-5 behind this little dumpster here. Um, pick it up because you're going to need it. Yeah, Mag-5 here. Alright, let's go. Okay, now these tunnels are going to be coming from both sides again, which is very annoying. Um, they're going to spawn at the top of the tunnel, and they're going to spawn down here, the big metal point here. Just, yeah, I will cover the wall. Well, Ali's going to push up forward, right? You got the hammer. Okay, so you're going to watch. Alright, so now they're, they're coming, so be careful. Yeah, just keep 
your distance from them because they're gonna they're gonna be coming for you, and they got shotguns and shields and all kinds of great stuff. Just keep your distance from them. All right, there's just gonna be a little group of enemies spawn right here. Just take them out. If you can get them as soon as they spawn, they won't even know what's going on. So nothing to worry about. Okay, there's, there's an RPG right here. This is very useful um, against the, the group of guys here. Now, when they spawn, that means there's also a group of chokers that are going to spawn behind you. So watch out. Away from them. Yeah, here come the chokers. Not a big deal. This, you know, just don't get overwhelmed by them or whatever. Okay. Just kill these enemies as they come down the tunnel. There will be a kick back enemy uh, that will spawn after you kill a little bit of these guys. Just, uh, yeah, be ready for them. Just surprise by them or whatever. Okay, yep, here he is. Alright. Uh, get them to spawn, and then you just want to run. Okay, he's really dumb. He'll keep trying to throw his tough bombs. He's really just going to teammate here, which is kind of funny. Yeah, use every G. Use anything you can against him, because he's really dumb. He's just throwing his carpet bombs to the ceiling. Enough, huh? Okay. Um, next bit. Now, this is a bit. I like this bit. It's uh, really fun. Um, did I miss any power weapons? No, I missed. Okay. Um, yeah, if you want dragon sniper, you got a hammer, don't you? All right. I'll get this dragon sniper. Um, this bit you run directly to the right because there's gonna be a truck turret, a turret truck, all kinds of. Um, yeah, all kinds of enemies spawning right there, that turret truck there, because it's exposed to them. So you want to run all the way to the right, because there'll be a turret, you can mount it on there, and the enemies won't be able to touch you, because, let alone that truck, the truck's the most annoying part. Just run over here. Very simple. I can't get you. I'm gonna toss my cluster bomb over there just to clear them out. I wanna mount this, this turret here because it's easiest. Oh, I just cleared everybody out with my cluster. That was very simple. Okay, once that hammer guy is dead, you're also gonna have snipers over there still spawning, which is annoying. Uh, just watch the rooftops because the snipers will pick you up quick. Um, you're gonna have a bunch of enemies spawning and. Also a, a mega bomb guy. He, you need to kill him quick because he will blow you all the way really fast. And it, you just want to kill him quick. Once he's dead, just clean up because now this part looks very easy when we just did it. It can be very difficult if you don't use, you know, the turret effectively or you don't kill everybody right away because I don't know. It just can get really difficult and really scary, you know. But yeah, we did it and that was that was London Underground chapter two. Um I hope uh, that it was as easy for you as it was for us. Um if you have any questions or comments or anything, uh just let us know, PM us at the Dog Forms, message us on and maybe if you can't do it yourself, maybe one of us can help you get through it. Um together. But uh thanks for watching and this is J D and Alex Bailey. Have a good day.